out though. I jumped out of bed this morning though because yeah. it wasn't cold for the first time in forever. I find so that nice. when it's bitterly cold and you're huddled under all those Warm covers, blankets. it's real yeah. hard to get out. This yeah. morning was a little bit easier. Unfortunately, by tomorrow, we won't want to get out again <laughs> because it's going to be in the 20s again. Right now, we have temps that are in the 50s and 60s, believe it or not. A 24-hour temperature change that shows us an improvement of 20 degrees at Gary. Same for Kankakee, and, uh, right around that for Kankakee and Rensselaer. 21-degree improvement in temperature for O'Hare. And we're up about 19 degrees or so around McHenry and also for Midway. Temperatures right now coming in 57 degrees Midway, 57 degrees O'Hare, 63 degrees Waukegan. I, these are incredibly mild temperatures. The record on this date stands at 61 degrees back in 1880. It's possible, I suppose, that we could get up there. I don't think we're going to stay uh, right at this temperature for very long, though. We'll be there through the afternoon, and then we drop off real quickly. Radar showing some rain out there currently. We've got a winter weather advisory, courtesy of a cold front that's going to come through, and it's going to massively drop our temperatures. Just at the same time, it's bringing about a chance of a little bit of precip, and that could be freezing rain. We're looking at 8 o'clock clock tonight. A little bit of freezing rain out there. Definitely the case in northwest Indiana through about 3.30 in the morning. That then heads on off to the east. We do have some snow that's going to come in in the form of lake effect. After that, from Friday into Saturday, could favor the city and then shift over into northwest Indiana. But lake effect will add some more accumulation onto the ground uh, just as temperatures are again dropping. We've got a high today that'll be up into the 50s. We're already there. We're going to stay there for a little while and then drop way down. Looking at that lake effect and temps in the 20s Friday, Saturday. All right, let's take a look at what's going on out there right now. We have temperatures that are so warm. 67 Waukegan, 50 McHenry, 55 DeKalb, 50 for Aurora, 59 degrees around Gary, and 57 down around Rensselaer. The wind speeds at the moment are picking up a bit. We're in the teens out here. Valparaiso, Gary, Rensselaer, uh, Kankakee, Waukegan, McHenry, DeKalb, Aurora. All these temperatures, our wind speeds are bringing in the nice warm air for us. And so don't hate the winds out there today. They're actually bringing the good stuff. And once we see that wind shift though it'll start to usher in colder temperatures. We also have some rain out there, not a ton, just some scattered showers from Rockford stretching down to the city of Chicago and back over into northwest Indiana. No big deal right now. It's a little on the gloomy side, but it's so warm. Problem is, look at this. We were initially this morning uh, the only area not in an advisory, but we have been issued a winter weather advisory. They extend really from uh, Minnesota and North Dakota all the way down to the Gulf Coast states, and that's because of this big system that's going to be coming through, taking us back to winter. So our winter weather advisory goes into effect at varying times across the area. It starts at about 3 o'clock if you're in the far western counties. Central portion of our area starts at about 6 o'clock and 9 p.m. for northwest Indiana. And then on off to the east, we expect to see much more activity in terms of the snow that will come in after the fact. Most advisories end at about midnight, a little bit longer over there for the Northwest Indiana Advisory. And as all as this low pressure comes through, where does it go and what does it bring us? That is the question. We definitely expect to see some scattered showers and very mild air out there today. But working into the backside of this system, once the cold starts to come in, we'll pretty quickly see a possibility of freezing rain. But of more concern, really, is the flash freezing potential because temperatures will drop so quickly to below freezing that we could have pockets of ice form on area roadways because what's falling today is rain. And then real quick cold, boom you get some ice out there. So we will need to keep an eye on that and pay attention moving forward, especially out to the west during the rush hour, maybe a little bit into the city. Northwest Indiana, you've got a little bit longer. Let's step through here. This is at 430 this afternoon. Still some rain for the city of Chicago. My western suburbs, you've got a little bit of freezing rain there. It breaks up a bit as it heads eastward, but all this rain potentially as temperatures are dropping could again flash freeze. I've got much better uh, freezing rain chances east of the area and watch too because overnight then we start to see a better chance of some snow coming down in those areas as well. Once the system leaves us, it amps up over Ohio like nobody's business, and they could see quite a bit of heavy snowfall coming down from that. For us, Futurecast models just going to bring in the potential for lake effect, which could impact the city. This is at about 10 o'clock Friday night, and then eventually it kind of rotates around the lake, uh, favoring northwest Indiana. But definitely have some wintry weather headed in our direction. Today, it's the main threat for that potential for some freezing rain for us 
as we work into the latter half of the afternoon and evening again, that threat working from west to east. But high temperatures first today are incredible. 57 degrees Chicago, 58 Zion, 55 McHenry, 58 for Joliet, 59 for Portage and Rensselaer, and 58 for Kankakee. Um, you can see, though, how cold it is just a very short distance away from us. We're at 57 today, but Minneapolis is only 11, and it's minus 3 Fargo, 3 degrees Billings, and this cold air is spilling in here real quickly tonight. Um, so we will see that polar shift uh, from mild, like feeling like April during the day today. You walk out the door right now, it's like April, but you wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to be right back to January with temperatures colder than average. Again, remember the normal high this time of the year is 31. We're going to be up to about 57 today. So warm out there. Definitely some showers. Southerly wind 15 to 20, and that's what's bringing in the nice warm air. Overnight tonight, you've got temperatures crashing, going all the way down to 21, some mixed precipitation, northwesterly winds from 20 to 30 miles per hour. And this cold air, again, could create that flash freezing on area roadways. Got to keep that in mind moving forward. I mean, they're out with the salt trucks. We should be okay in that regard. And I think everybody knows that we've got this concern, considering the fact that the uh, Weather Service put the weather advisory out, so winter weather advisory in effect, starting at 3 again in our western suburbs. For tomorrow, we're back to winter. Got some snow showers out there tomorrow, mostly of the lake effect variety, um, and that'll be with us a bit into the day on Saturday too. But again, remember, if you're not in the lake effect zone, then you're not going to see much activity from this at all other than what we have today. So we're going from 57 degrees today. We're knocking 32 degrees off it working into your Friday, and then we do go down to the teens into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Aaron and Marissa. We'll just we'll take that 57 for now though. Yeah, but we only have it for a few more hours. Yeah, you better get so outside. Enjoy it. Quick. Everybody's yeah. taking advantage of it though. I know. Get it's outside. Great. You don't even roll the windows down. Who cares if it rains in your face? Yeah, yeah. here you People go. People are yeah. smiling at strangers. <laughs> it's just a wonderful day. Thanks, Megan.